my son to this place here in Stone Which Harbor. Place is that? Right here in Stone Harbor. I'm oh, talk, I'm okay. talking to YouTube. Oh, oh, I'm talking right. to YouTube here. I you were talking to me. Nah. <laughs> Talking to my 10 followers, my oh. 10 YouTubers out oh, there. Okay. <laughs> um, this is a really cool place in Stone Harbor. And you can touch a lot of stuff. All the people that used to live down the shore and around this area have donated their stuff to this you museum. Have a of hand grenades which is over here. really kind of cool. Uniforms, Japanese yeah, guns, funny. swords, you know, all World War II stuff. So when it um, explodes, in other the metal wars, other conflicts, Vietnam, but uh, okay. they've got it air conditioned up there. It's pretty explodes. nice. I like it. Okay. I, would hope, I would hope whoever had this 210 years ago took better care of it. <laughs> okay, and, so uh, here we are. He's over here. Are the Japanese weapons that you're looking the at. Japanese weapons always have some. Yes, they're chrysanthemum. On it. Uh, yeah, you can lift it. Let it does not a day, and I'm at the end of it. You're okay. Yeah, they were. And one of the things, one of the reasons. Now this is a Japanese gun. Yeah. Yeah, and the. Uh, is that a samurai sword? Yeah, it's a samurai sword. So this all makes. Well, it's not samurai. It's a. It's a sword that an officer would have carried. Not so now we've come full circle because we went to Japan a couple months ago. Oh, cool. So now you can see exactly and, the other uh, side of this. The Japanese, one of the reasons they did as poorly as they did is this: they were using the same rifles and machine guns in 1944 that they were using in 1934. They never developed new weapons. And they were very inferior to the American weapons. Well, we had, all we had more ability to do it, but the Japanese also Japanese, Japanese currency also felt that Mount weapons Fuji. were less important than Mount the Fuji. soldier, and that the soldier's morale and fighting spirit is what would win the day. So they would go into battle with a rifle like this that had. It said four or five rounds in it that would you'd have to do that every time you wanted to fire. Well, the American rifle had eight. Yeah, you know, very, very careful. The American rifle had uh, eight rounds in it, and it was, it was, you just had to pull the trigger eight times. So we could fire basically eight times faster than they could and reload them. Uh, which gave the American tremendous Yeah, something similar. It was uh, not quite that much of a difference. But anyway, you want to set? Yeah, you want a picture with the sword? Sure. Yeah. Let's okay. do it. I have the shirt for it. Oh, you certainly yeah, do. That's right. You do have oh, your samurai okay. shirt. Very coincidental. Uh, teenage mutant ninja turtle. So you've got your samurai sword. Yeah. And your samurai um, t-shirt. Yeah. And your golf one hat. <laughs> Ready to rock, man. So what is this sword again? I, it was an it's, officer's sword. Uh, it, and it could be... They they passed them down from generation to generation. So if I were an officer, my kid would be an officer? And my kid not, an officer. Well, most likely, but not necessarily. Okay, John Paul, you ready to go flying? Yeah. Wow. World, War, World War II, right? Yeah. Which... That would have been American. Oh. See, the cool thing about this place is that you'll they never get to, stuff. Yeah, you're never going to try this stuff on. <laughs> no, in a lot again. Of, no, I mean that's very unlikely. I bet. How many kids come up here to actually do this? Not many. Uh, no, actually, you'd be surprised. It's it's kind of like with you. Yeah. If the parents happen to go through it, uh -huh. and the kids have an interest, they come back. All right. Uh, so there's a real purple heart. You yeah. Touch that. Yeah. All right. People had very tiny fingers. Careful how you put that back. Yeah. Okay. Here, let him touch that. Yeah. There you go. Very good. Let's push this one. And that's a Nazi armband. Mm-hmm. With a lighthouse on it? Yeah, I'm not sure. I have no idea why they'd be a, And I don't know if that's a lighthouse or a monument. 
Well, we're going to have to look that up. Yeah, that we're might. Gonna... That I think that is a monument of some sort. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. Okay, and we'll then... post that online. I had one of these once. Oh, did you? Yeah. And I've had a Nazi banner, but it was a lot yeah, bigger than that. that. Inside these guy would be... <clears throat> right. That's basically what we're looking at. You continue firing. That's so. Viet Cong, or is that U.S.? This one's U.S. Uh, yeah, the. Um, now that's a replica, right? Yeah. I wonder who made that. I don't know, but a very talented fellow. You know. Oh, you think it's one of a kind? You know, you never know with stuff like this. Yeah. You know, you're never really sure. These over here, these are machine gun bullets. And every fifth one is a CPC. Right, that's the tracer. And all. And these are the, uh, these are the, these are called Ho Chi Minh sandals. And they're made from old tires. And that's what they used when they, the Viet Cong used when they were in the jungle. 